Hey guys, this is Ayan with Channel 2 Games, part of TV on YouTube. Today we're gonna take a look at the healing build that I use on one of my characters in The Secret World. This works great if you want to main heal in a lower level dungeon group like Polaris or Hellfallen. Okay, so the two skill sets are Fist Weapon and Blood Magic. One thing you have to remember about Blood Magic is you have to build resources before using an ability that consumes resources. Otherwise, it takes away your health to heal others. You have to be conscious about this because if you don't, before you know it, you're almost dead from trying to heal others. Alright, so you're gonna need 64 ability points for this build. To get to the outer circle, you need to get all the inner circle abilities for that weapon. You don't have to use all of them, just selected ones. Let's look at blood magic first. These are the active and passive abilities that you'll need from the inner circle. The first one is blood shield. The name explains it all. It's a single target shield that you can use on yourself or one of your group members. It also gives a minor heal and builds resources. Now when you pick a passive ability, make sure it complements the active ability that you've chosen, like this one, Rapid Shield, increases the heal and barrier of blood shield by 7.5%, so let's put that one here. Next is Angelic Aegis, almost the same as blood shield but with bigger shield absorption and more heal. This will be your main single target heal. And the complementing passive ability, Angel's Touch, also increases heal. You should also pick this one, Coagulation. It increases the effectiveness of barrier effects, so it really helps with the shields. Now, from the outer circle, you'll need Open Vein, which is a chain AoE attack. I tend to spam this ability because not only does it build resources for both weapons, it is fast casting and has no recast time. So for now, it's a decent minor damage ability where you can stay ranged and still build resources quickly for both weapons. Then we got Hematic Rites, which is pretty much an AoE version of Blood Shield and Angelic Aegis. Just make sure your groupmates are standing within 5 meter radius around your defensive target so that they will all get the bubble. Okay, let's look at Fizz Weapon now. Nurture is an instant heal plus heal over time and builds one resource every time you use it. And selecting Nurturing Gift, which gives Nurture a longer duration hot. Then we got Pack Leader, which is basically a 10 second hit buff, very helpful. And selecting Alpha Wolf. Reduces recharge time of pack leader. Lick your wounds, gives you more heals. And now for this last active ability spot, you can either choose Cardiac Arrest, which is a damage and stun ability. You're gonna need this if you somehow aggro the mobs before the tank does. Or you can get Blood Spike, which is a single target dot. But, if you have more ability points to spare, you can scrap those two and pick up Surgical Steel from Fist Weapons. It heals and puts a hot on you. If you manage to pick this up, this will be your main heal instead of Angelic Aegis. For this last passive ability spot, you can pretty much pick any ability that you want, but I would suggest grabbing Gnosis under Chaos Magic. It only costs you 1 AP, and if you have someone else in your group using a weakened effect, this will be the best damage increase you can do while using Open Vein. In summary, these are the active abilities, passive abilities, and resource builders. If I'm main healing in a group, my rotation is usually Open Vein times 5 to build resources, then Hematic Rites for Group Bubble, and after this for every 2 casts of Open Vein, you should use Hematic Rites. If the tank's HP gets low, use Angelic Aegis to heal, or Surgical Steel, and top it off with Nurture. 
Remember to keep using open vein, blood shield, and nurture to build resources so you can keep healing with angelic aegis, hematic rites, or surgical steel. The build that I put up here is definitely not conclusive. As I leveled up and messed around with the abilities, I found other skills that I liked better. This is just the basic 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 healer build that you can get with a minimum amount of AP. If you have any ideas or suggestions, feel free to post your comments below. Also, remember to check the description for details of this build and links to tools that helps you with build planning. And as always, stay tuned to Channel 2 Games for more of The Secret World. Have fun guys!